um, and Marne had a, every weekend. You either turn right to my vet or you turn left to Lanka Mark. Every weekend, the M and M boards are up there. Now you will get friends then phone. <gasps> Listen, we're on our way, but we saw the boards. Man. <laughs> then I say, okay, welcome to town. You've reached us. The um, and then we're gonna put it all together. So I'm going to skip through the introduction. The ground rules, all I want to say is thank you for forever showing up and thank you for everybody that has been attending this training up to here. And we're going to ask the questions now about the R's. Okay. Thank you for the integrity of the pivoteers that gives feedback. That participates that goes and checks the videos i can see the videos gets checked on youtube i can see the views who has watched it um i want to say thank you for everybody because in conversations you know i speak to all of you as we go and chitty chatty and this everybody's feedback is having you know sometimes we we, we sort of go oh, well, no need for, i don't want to say it in front of everybody but it's like this thing is this thing that i've i've learned and i'm telling you the same people that are participating in this 36 12 3 is probably going to be the advocates so that we can have the mrea 24 topics um during um april and the reason why we're doing the 24 topics as well as then we can accommodate all the holidays and high days that are happening in April. Now, if you really participated in the Accelerate and then sorted your uh, CGI out, your 135, your 411, just to get momentum and get you going, and then use 36.12.3 to really tweak that 36.90 plan of yours. You will then get that when we do the red book. Because then it is called momentum. Momentum. Remember, um, I told the story about the 21 irrefusible laws about the truck. When it hits the cement or the train, it must explode and go right through. It mustn't bounce back. So, I can hear when I say hello to you is that there is activities happening um, with, the, with the lead generation. In conversations, I hear people are picking up more leads, um, um, quality leads that are coming through Property24. Um, and uh, 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 um, the activities are there. The 10 4 is working. So I want to ask you anybody want to talk to me and say to me, um, Rolo, I'm still stuck. I'm not getting there. Or Rolo, I'm, I'm, I'm twigging still this business. And, and who wants to talk to me? What has happened to you? We are in the last seven days of March. Autumn has actually disappeared already in this country. Because I'm telling you now, three weeks, uh, two weeks from now, three weeks from now is Easter weekend. After Easter weekend, we're going down into Freedom Day, Workers' Day. Thanks for playing. Another 30 days later, we are into winter. Talk to me, guys. What has happened to you? Share it. Ooh, deep of it, yes. Of all, I'm going to learn to Hello? Hello, is our main set of bite? Hello? Mm -mm. 
Hi, Rolo. Yeah, I just want to say by, by doing this course, it keeps you motivated and it keeps you focused and it keeps your momentum. So I can see from my side the, the, the momentum is going. And apart from the momentum, if the, if the stock is there, this month we did three sales uh, because we worked the previous 90 days on good stock. And just, you know, going, doing the training just keeps you focused and motivated every day to get going and to keep going. Moi, moi, moi. Thank you, Andre. Andre, that is why the Keller Williams trainings are in the mornings. That's why the Ignite, where it was also Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's now every day of the week. It's called that 66-day challenge. It's called 66 days to a new habit. What I'm hearing from what you're saying is because I'm at 8 o'clock ready and I'm on the training, I'm already in the go. After the training, I get on with what I need to do and start shifting and moving because the activity and the application of it stays. It raises the standard and quality. It's, and that's why people are forever attending the trainings because they are up, they're ready, they are understanding the rule of the 5am club to show up for your business. In any case in your real estate business, by 7 o'clock, the coffee machine, the emails must be running. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Hello, Rolo. Yes, please. Okay, from my side, I started late last year. And unfortunately for me, the in the beginning, the information was an overloading of information. Okay. And I didn't know where to start, really. Uh, there was nobody, as a rookie, there was nobody that helped me or whatever. And from the start, aside from, from February with, with the training, starting in actually in, in January, and but uh, mainly on this course, now this is what we are doing now, I, I uh, said to myself, okay, leave everything, all your dear makar geit now achter and start afresh. And what I did was every day that there was a course, I implemented only that. Uh, and I'm getting there. Everything is in place. I'm, I'm just waiting for my command, my, my, uh, um, uh, for, uh, Marie to, to help me with my, uh, uh, command and then I'm going. So I'm very, very positive. Yes, please. We've changed a life. Thank you. Thank you, Anton, for the vulnerability and the sharing of actually what happened that day I did um and there's already a change and you are growing and learning as you are applying well done yes please anybody else that wants to share right i'm on page five so why are we here is to talk about open houses what we so in the states they call it um show houses, uh, uh, open houses. We call it agent hour, open houses, show houses, whatever you want to put the word to it. But we're going to talk just about open houses or show houses today, okay? Which is a source of your haven't met. Those people that you haven't met that are walking into your shop to come and talk business to you, which then is a lead and a met, which you then gonna hustle it till they put the money in the bank account. On page six of the manual is just the uh, um, 
uh, uh, open houses, the farming that Marnu has done. So open houses are the easiest, simplest, fastest, and cheapest way to grow your business. So why you are, yes, that's where I talk about um, um, the, the core structure. Open houses work. This is the story that I want to tell you. Now, as an agent, I worked uh, uh, Kailami AH, Sun Valley, Bridal Park, Glen Furness, um, one part of the bottom part of Baloo. That was my stamping ground. 940 households. A good agent can work 750 households. With an assistant, 1,000, 1,200. Two assistants, then you start talking 1,500, 1,800 households in a suburb, argumentatively, okay? So, because of the horse environment I was in, private property and property 24 and the ads I had in the magazine was just to classify the seller for the mandate. Because remember, this is a horsey village and community. That area is known in the world as the most horses per square meter in the world. So, um, um, the, the horse trading, horse trader and the um, horse mag was the two magazines that you would get at every horsey little shop in town. And because the area is also product specific, okay? And, you know, people, because it's stable yards, you know, they're busy riding their horses and working and what, what, what. They don't so much just want you to 11 o'clock arrive there um, and just carry on. You know, there's a, there's a way we do things. Because of the average listing being around four, four and a half million rand, you know, four, four and a half million rand people that are buying understands and people that are selling has also got a life. So what we used to do is on a Sunday in the mornings. So I had early morning show houses because they're coming out to lay the part. And when they're busy riding the horse, then they can swim a park with the horse at the show house number one or it is convenient for them you know they ride early morning otherwise it gets too hot sunday afternoon two to five o'clock show houses didn't work because they're either competing at a horse show where i didn't need to sit under the gazebo or they were busy uh, uh with sunday afternoon things it's too hot to ride we had a little bucky called hesi uh, one of these Corsa buckies. Now, because the, the grooms would help me to feed the horses, you know, 5.30, 6 is feeding time. Then it's done. Otherwise, the horses start breaking down the stable doors. So let's just get them fed. And then we would jump on the bucky and then a little map. And when I would sit with a coffee and then we vibe. And we would unpack a hundred. Um, I had these A-frame uh, um, uh, uh, chromo deck boards because they're easy to put down in a different direction. Um, pointers. So people would be driving in, coming to it to play part part, or um, they would be out on, uh, um, you know, on their way to a horse show. Then they would drive into the suburb, and they would think Rola owns the entire suburb. Had these black and pink boards. Please go and have a look back on my Facebook pages. And I would be available. I had show house setters. So in Lone Hill. Um, there's a couple of retirement villages there. And there is, um, you get a show house sitters those days. Uh, uh, I think you still do. A show house sitters FFC. Because they're not allowed to do the conversations, but they're allowed to be present. And we'll make up packs for, for the Tunnies to come and help me to sit the show houses. And they used to love it. Panto said, Rolo Sweeties in a magazine. And he made a little package up. So, and then I would be moving in and amongst these show houses so that I'm available to do the talk when the client arrives. 
And what worked so well is instead of up, down, up, down, do the property, when you are speaking to the client during the week, or say, listen, it is on show on Sunday, please. Um, may, so what time on Sunday, then the property is ready to be viewed um, when it's on show. So here's the question. Are you at the open house to sell the house or pick up buyers and sellers? You're there for both, obviously. But it is your show time. It is your moment where you are available, dressed up, all ready, flags, boards. It looks like its own bazaar. Where you are available and on top of your game to service the clients. What buyers and sellers think about open houses, show houses. So let's say there's 100 buyers, argumentatively. 44 visit an open house. Five buyers use agents from the open house. 39 leave unrepresented. Those of you that do show houses regularly knows that you the leads come in and they go, oh no, I don't want to write my name down or no, no, no. Or they write so ugly in that show house register that you can't even understand the spelling of the surname. Can you hear the amount of information and opportunity in business that is disappearing here? And I think if Marne needs to tell the story again like he did, is like, because they are really um, um, on show every weekend. And Marne and Stelly, I am picking on you again, and I'm sure you can take it. Um, but they are boarding it up. Um, um, and you, you can see them, they there every weekend doing it over and over. Um, If you need to think back at the events and or expos or show houses you've had, what made it special? What made it memorable? Um, um, there was the art gallery one for MM Realtors. Um, uh, 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 Renee and Hans is planning and doing expo things. If I, uh, Renal Bricknell, I'm sure if you all go and have a look on Renal's um, Facebook page, Renal is on show man, every weekend. She's got her development and her show houses every weekend. She drives um, her show houses. It is really where she picks the true people up. So I really want you to just think back at the successes you've had with open houses, show houses. What have you done with those leads? What did you do that worked? What did you do that didn't work? Or why are you not doing it? If you are following in the manual, I am on page 10. So here's the myth. Open houses are only for new agents looking for clients. Viet jij? <laughs> Experienced agents continue to leverage open houses, show houses, expos to generate both buyers and sellers. <coughs> it is the oldest method and for um, best salesman in the world is a for sale sign and an open house i don't have any listings so i can't hold an uh, open house use another agent 
it's a win-win for both of you. I'm telling you, the culture of caring and sharing in Keller Williams will drive you crazy because we love celebrating your successes. Use the, uh, there is a friend close by or make a plan to set one of their show houses for them. But act up in sharing and say, listen, the amount of leads that's going to come through, let's share the business. Get into the market. Participate actively. Agents sit open houses. Great agents work open houses. As those people are coming in, you are capturing, your laptop is open, you are putting them on campaigns immediately. Active, experienced, great agents know the script, have practiced the way they're going to walk through this property, how they're going to manage it when there's two, three people, have preset arrangements with buyers saying, Three o'clock will be an ideal time when I can spend some time with you. And if somebody else walks in, I have made the arrangement for them that we want to discuss this. Please, you're welcome to keep walking through the property. So here is just the story on page 12 of, of Sharon Keto and Lance McGregor and on the amount of um, show houses they've had. Now, and that's where I already told the story about the successes that we had of five, six show houses that are on show over a weekend. Because you would drive into the area and you would think it is Rolo owns the entire suburb. You know, open houses produces buyers, sellers and referrals. We always forget that referral part um when you look there on page 13 like anton let's say is busy growing and learning from the 36 12 3 set a goal for your open houses what do I want to achieve with this property being on show? Do everything to get as many people there. We're going to discuss that just now. Hold good consistent. Two weekends on, one weekend off. Two weekends on, one weekend off. Those of you that have discussed the Smart Realtor calendar with me in your agent production folder, those of you that are following your time blocking and your scheduling would understand that, you know, going up, down, up, down, red light, green light, spending money, entertaining tire kickers that wants to do home viewing, you know, I want to get these specific clients through that property at that specific day and time. Be consistent with it. You can't have two open houses and then decide, okay, nobody arrives, so I'm not going to do it again. Like team up. There's already teaming up, um, I know, with be you know groups teaming doing show houses together. I'm now referring to Hans and Renee that are um, 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 on show together. Then it creates that presence. MM I know does um, uh, um, uh, 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 Renal and Nigel. I'm sure is 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 also teaming up in in doing the the show houses. Page fourteen. Why do you want to do this open houses in any case? So there's the before. Prepare and promote. We're going to go in detail in it now. During it, you want to build trust and qualify those leads. 
I know, listen, this is a tire kicker or this one. I'm going to show that house, that house, that house. But by Thursday, this one I'm closing because you know your number. Okay. Your follow-up process. The, the short auntie that came in, I do a referral to Bloemfontein. She needs to go and retire there. Um, that one that came in with a big black murk, mm -mm, that one needs to get to Pekinwood. Let's go. Because you are following through and following up and are on a different standard and service delivery, you will be the number one agent in your market because of visibility. That marketing thing. We're going to touch again on promoting, um, um, uh, 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 prospecting and marketing. Now, that prepare and promote. Set up that goal. This is the 2.4 million rand home. I know 16 people that can afford a 2.4 million rand home. So, I want to get this sold and be in contact with them. Decide which houses. Developments, I do understand. If you have got nothing else, um, an empty house, yeah. But don't put an empty house on show. It, it, um, um, it, just does, it just does not show that nicely. Developments, I understand. Please, I'm not being ugly. It's just empty houses do not show that well. Okay. Stage the house. Underline, underline. Have the discussion with your seller. The, the house part must be rolled up. The um, a, a horseman you heap must please be taken away to the dump. The Can you please just cut away those ugly leaves? Please can you make sure the water fountain in the driveway is working? People buy with their eyes. It is your moment. It is your hourly rate and time you are spending there. You must be in the mood to build relationships. It must be like when it's show business and that curtain goes up, it is lashes, it is handsuck, it is dressed up like you are ready to do burlesque itself. You must be there to be able to speak the speak about the neighborhood and know what is happening. Always be safe. So they page 15, they say set the um, um, goals. I've, I've mentioned that. Then decide which houses set the stage. Um, page 16, I've discussed. Then there's the seller open house um, list. Ah, it's just that that know where you need to place your boards is what I've got on my speaker notes here, Askis. Okay, that be, be just be aware that certain intersections in your local municipalities doesn't only allow certain amount of boards. So please, guys, just a reminder there again that you understand the rules of the um, uh, your neighbourhood. On my notes here, is the house in a desirable neighborhood? So please listen to this. I walked into a show house, RTBS Poor Dan. I won't mention the company. Where you walked in, now the property is a weekend retreat. So obviously it's standing um, closed in the week. Not all the curtains are open. Not all the doors and windows are open. Not all the lights are on. Okay. It is 
the swimming pool was green. And it was not in one of the most desirable neighborhoods either. But I saw the boats and I was curious, was driving and I saw the boats and I was curious to see what does the listings in the area look like. That girl wasted her Sunday afternoon. Curb appeal. When I just want to say is that your ad reads like your script, reads like your power walk going through the property. Okay. That when the buyers arrive, you know, that meet and greet of some of the agents that is smiling. It's like they're going to attack you with that arm there. Remember, your badge must always be on the right hand side. Um, because that's how you greet people, then they read your name. And the magnet is, in any case, affecting your heartbeat over so many years of being an Dom Sachent on the left-hand side. So badges always on the right-hand side. Street appeal is important here. You can't let 60 dustbins be on the pavement and then your on-show boat is hanging here, dustbin here. That seller checklist, okay, when you are having your mandated appointment with your client, you are going to discuss with your client and say, what is all? This is the days we're going to be on show and this is the days. Because today we're starting the mandate and then we vi, vi, vi and then we have an on show. And then we're going to discuss all the clients that we've had through the property. Then I'm going to have my agent hour as well, where I invite either agents that are willing to participate with me, Pam Goldings, Rawsons, because I do have relationships. Then we will have a price reduction happening, and then we will have invites again, reactions on private property, property 24, and have an on-show again. During my second on-show, the agents that are attend at the agent hour will then also be bringing their buyers. Tell them your strategy, know your script, have a checklist available. Like dear seller, when we're doing this, put put muffins in the oven and leave it the oven open. Please, you know, your children's bedrooms. Their page 17 is um, um, an open house checklist. Have it ready and remember yours will be different for every um, uh, different uh, uh, um, demographic or your area. Now, not all homes in your area is the same so obviously around every home there's different stories around it with the area understand your scripts and what questions to ask there uh, page 18 top of it uh, uh, prepare to build relationships prepare with who what when where why what are you doing in Lakamar country estate in Artebias Poor Dam? Where are you working? When would you like to move? Who would be living here with you? Do you understand the area and that there is a conservancy and you can't go in there with a four by four? Do you understand that you can't have a Raptor motorbike going through the year? Brings me to that. Be the expert. When you are using a uh, um, um, show house sitter, please make sure that they do not do the talking for you 
and do the speaking for you but that they immediately WhatsApp call you at that point of time if the questions get there so that you can have enough information in a packet available. In your show house pack must be, here is the story of the property. This is what the, the rights, taxes, levies, etc. would be. There's nothing that ever takes me more when I look at a listing on private property, property 24, size of house, Levies, rights and taxes, size of the land is missing. I cannot, you guess what? Guess what? That agent's ad is in any cage, page, page two, three. If it starts by listing it as a half job, it's going to end up as a half job. But put the information, put the address. Don't be a secret agent. Tell your client, I'm putting the address because I'm telling you now 600 agents are going to phone you. Then you tell them, you lazy agent. Now everybody probably rolling their eyes at me and going, Yo, Marola, we all call, call also from the other agents' addresses. <laughs> there on page 19 in the manual. You would know what buyers want to know, what sellers wants to know, because hear me out what happens during your um, show house. Sellers do walk in as well, because they do see the activity. Nine out of ten times statistically, please go and Google it. We all want our best friends or our closest relatives and family to live as close by as possible. It is the habit of the creature of the human. We like that grouping done. Sellers in the area are going to walk in there to introduce their chai or their cousin to come to you to say, Hola. No, what sellers wants to know, how many properties are currently in the market in the area? What is the average selling price? That is where Lightstone comes in again. Lightstone, you learn like a papachai, like a parrot, and you repeat it and you sing it. It's your script. No, your bond calculators, your home loan qualifications, have information and your allied resources being your attorney, being your uh, uh, mortgage originator, on standby, multinet, let them be there to say, where is so? Is this story? This is how much you can qualify for. So, <laughs> That be safe part. Um, check the bedrooms. That and this is a very sensitive topic about you know there's been incidents and and it's a sensitive topic. Okay, but you know you're not going to be stupid about having um, a unit in the wrong area and a probable high um, risk area on on show. Okay, but check. This is just thoughts where you need to get out as fast as you can check the fences they check your cell phone string notify people to call you know hello lovey are you still on show what what walk behind guests during touring remember it is an international culture that when we allow people to walk first it creates respect and integrity in that second of time. Please go and Google that topic on your own. Everybody still there? Have I got anybody having a moment about the open houses or getting excited about it? Because I'm going to go now on page 21 about prospecting and marketing again. Please talk to me. Rollo. Asseblief, praat met my. 
Okay, for me, it's quite an eye-opener because I was in farms and I never had an open house on a farm. And I never enjoy the, the idea of open house, but now I'm started to think about how to do it. So I definitely got something out of this. Yes, please. There I go. Um, Luya, can you any reader fall? Um, I could come plus up skywalk. Reset. We're gonna get to that now. We're gonna okay. discuss that just now. <laughs> so, that prospecting around open houses, should I prospect or should I market? Now, I'm on page 21, and then you'll see if we jump down literally on page 24. It's going to talk about marketing. Okay. Now, in power session two, you did with uh, prospecting, okay? Hustling, getting the people, seeking, proactively seeking leads is what prospecting means. To get in the business, number one, you need to really be a proactive person, not a reactive person, to get the leads rather than wait for them to come to you. Now, door knocking, I understand, it's not that safe, etc., and you're not allowed to do it, and all sorts of poppy acts, etc. Etc. as the bad is my stop word here because of the sensitive topic around all the laws. But now this is where it proactively calling your mates. Invite the people that you have shown homes to already. If you are building a database in an area Louis, if you have got 20 farms in a 100 kilometer radius that you are for sale and, and that you know all the farmers and you invite them all to come and have a look on Saturday morning, 10 to 12, Honda Kralki is available for viewing. I am there. Louis. You say to me that if I get you something where there is parking for more tractors and more arable land, you're willing to come and have a look. Come and have a look. Ten to one, Harder Kralki is then available for viewing. Maar wie anders, Louis, ken jy wat graag hierdie eiendom sal wil kyk? Remember, we don't ever say goodbye. We always ask for the referral. You know, marketing and boards and it's those bus stops and branded dustbins. It's just the, the reminder there. You'll see the picture we're going to get to now on the for sale signs and the on show boards. You know, marketing is just attracting the leads. All the Facebook footers and all the private property and all of, all the board for sale signs and all of that is just marketing, just attracting, making them less to be part of the party. It is your job to actively hustle and work those mates and relationships. You'll see on page 23, we talk about a sample information packet. I know your ads is lovely and available and all the information is there. But there's nothing more beautiful than an actual brochure with neighborhood information, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 averages. So, so what I picked up now on the South Coast is, um, is uh, this, this one agency did this lovely color brochure where they did an aerial photo of all the, because Ivongo, that one strip, is sectional title complexes forever. So they did this aerial photo and then they pinned all the different complex names and then you had a little overview of what every complex is offering. It is a lovely booklet 
Um, they've had information on the statistics, on the growth and the pricing. I looked at this and I really thought, okay, now you tell it for my gedink. Okay. There it says on that sample, list every home in your neighborhood. You know, have maps of where these properties are. People are not stupid. They can find a property very quickly themselves a buyer if they want to. If they are really actively in the market and showing up at your show house, there's a reason they want to be in that area, either for the school or they there for the family, or they there because of distance to work. The power of signage. The competitor has dominant market share. The best salesman in the world is a for sale sign. I've said it now earlier. Why would somebody phone you from a for sale sign? Because they want to be in that area. There's a reason. So 50% of the object handling is already out the way. Because look at where your competitor is and here you have got one. The more boards you have, like I told the story, the power of signage put 100 boards up for sale. Um, um, have every property that is for sale in your area should have a board um, um, on it. And then I get this where people say, yeah, but I've got a listing here and I've got a listing there. And, and. I know we are open areas, but there's nothing more powerful than rather sharing it with the neighboring killer williams agent and do a transaction quicker conversions quicker money than you know running 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 around start small to go big you'll see page 26 it'll show you there now you've got dominance the more boards you have in your area um, um andre had uh, shared some photos with um, um and they boarding it up I know Marnu and them is boarding it up. Um, Heidi is boarding it up. Uh, Yolanda Blichnout, um is boarding it up. Um, uh, Renal Brickno is boarding it up. Um, Renal will, he will even give me a little smack. We, we at the council when I tell you this story. The recent as a formal letter to say that your board is not allowed to be there. But what happens is the council cuts the, the curb and then they move her board to the... Hi guys, it's load shedding here in Artis. So just give Rolo two minutes. I think he just needs to start the generator to come back on again. No, there I am. It well, was a okay, sorry, <laughs> There we go. Load shedding, donkey Marnu. Sorry, Isaac Trek. Is the recording happening? Can you all still see me? Shall I okay? Yes, please. Da komala amalop. Awesome. 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 Signage designs what matters, okay? So there on page 28 is just ideas on signage. Um, um, guys, brand yourself. You know, I've had that Rolo chocolate that worked very well for me to hand out. And that's my ticket, okay? Be sure to put your name um, big on it. I have gone past some boards where the information is such an overload on that board that there's no intention that I don't I don't even know who is the agent or who must I try and Google and phone. Keep it simple, stupid, is what they always say. Um, get as many boards as you can. There's some tips on your signs. Brand your name. Be consistent with your brand. 
right through. Um, 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 uh, the power, the best salesman in the world for sales signs. There is on my slide is just an idea of, so if there's like, a, you know, on a, so I know these rules about um, on show boards in certain areas, but the more you can board it up on every corner, you have a board and a, a arrow, you will be surprised people's reaction because i always ask the question how did you get your luck Raula, we were driving and driving and it looks like you've got the entire neighborhood on show so i love this part that's in the um and i want to pick here on you uh, again marnu um, because it is in the manual and when this morning I started running through my speaker notes and, and I saw the little balloons happening. Um, didn't you guys have balloons or things somewhere on a board somewhere, Marnu? Didn't you share somewhere last week? You all were somewhere. Is Marnu now some of the call afgesprang? I don't know. It shows uh, he's left the meeting. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I see a committee loud shedding that we've got. So um, I know they shared it on our group. Just be a little bit different on that day. Guys, flags, you know, these big pop-ups. Um, invest the money in your business. You know, when that second, third transaction, these packages available at 499, where you get a flag, a gazebo, two chairs, and a tablecloth. Uh, there's so many branding specials that are available. Remember, this is an investment you're doing in your business. On page um 31 going into page 32. They talk about the local newspapers and mail outs. Now, we have got a local newspaper here called Cormorant. And um, the, uh, the top right hand corner on the front page, the agents in town are fighting for that little spot. There is still a property section in that local newspaper. It is available at every spar, at every checkers, at every pick and pies door, at every estate's gate, they hand out the newspaper. Now, a lot of you are probably going to say to me, Rolo, it's expensive and we must lead with revenue. I just want to say that when your business is there and you really can afford that in your planning, financial planning, to have that consistent spot, and it is a paper that is still in, available in your area. I know it is a mandate tool in most cases, but people still do see that. The most powerful thing is WhatsApp. That send, 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 send to everybody on your WhatsApp that you are on show this weekend, or this is what you have all for sale. It's unbelievable the return of the results on that. Campaigns. Saved searches. You can use safe searches, and please go and look when you are on your dashboard. You go on the right-hand side, and then it says um, University, KW Connect, and um, <coughs> My Edge. When you click on the My Edge, there's a video available on saved searches. It is literally where you would go and load your listing. It is under that drop-down when you're standing on the house seat. The saved searches where you can put show house um, this day. There you can add people already to those saved searches. Then they get automatically the updates of everything you have on show uh, or coming up as on show. You know, then people can plan their lives. Instant touches. It is such a simple tool to leverage 
to quickly send out to your database so that they can know what you have on show this weekend. Facebook internet marketing, obviously. Private property, property 24. All your portals must be updated when you are having an open house. You have to update it on my edge. Have the event created or advertised on all of your social media. Um, send it out on all of your WhatsApps. You want to remind the people, uh, you have to come here, dudes. This is big business. What I just want to say there as well, don't forget to leverage the Keller Williams Network. That's the power of these events that we are having. And that is the power of you connecting with people on Facebook that are part of Keller Williams. Be on those groups. Meet the people. Reach out to them. You are a lead generating machine. How about you spend half an hour a week by phoning other Keller Williams agents and getting to know them? To say, where is so Marty? I know you're on Strays by, but typically so many of my clients come from Strays by. Please, can I share with you once a month all my new stuff? And please, can I share with you all my on show so that you can, when you do speak to people, quicker conversion, quicker money. We're not leveraging. Um, before I go into the, I just want to say there, um, page 32, we talk about the twilight showings morning or after school drive times. Know your area and understanding when is the best time, what is that habit of the people's movement in your area. Like, I have had many, many a success with a Wednesday evening show house where all the lights are on, where I have invited the clients. That's like a red carpet event. We do a vanky and a car seat and a snacky. You know, people feel special when they get invited to come and have a look at this. Then it's my sellers. It is everybody. Summer agents, alles. Come. It's seven million in the market. Bring the client. Let's do the money. Let's do the business. Especially around Hartebeespoort Dam. Especially if it is a waterfront home. They do show very well in the twilights. And like I've said earlier, I did the 7 to 9 o'clock in the morning show house. Purely because the people were busy passing with the horses. Now... Page 33 is your, um, uh, um, checklist. Have they done this? Have they done that before? What have we done? You know, um, and have it as a tick list, like in your 30, 60, 90, when you're setting up your standards, your policies and your procedures of your Rolo Realty, this is the standard open, when we're planning open houses, we will have so many photos, we will have so many brochures, we will have quality evening photos. This is the process for your own in-house office check. You know, you've got a value to what you are uh, uh, um, offering. That standard that you've set. Sorry, guys, let me just close this window. Otherwise, I'm screaming against the neighbor's generator. Now, on page 34, during the open house, how will we greet? What will the red carpet walkway be? What will we do? Then also, 
what we do during the open house, who deals with what. If it is a very popular property, expecting more clients, you can't handle it on your own. You would need some help. After the open house, what are we doing with the seller and giving them feedback? What are we doing with the capturing of the leads and the information? What are we doing with the buyers? Are they going through to the bond originator? Now, I'm on page 35. Building trust and qualify the leads. Balance your conversations. Can you now imagine me being a buyer and I walk into a show house and the estate agent carries on like a Jack Russell? Hello, hello. Kijk, is ons die lounge? Is ons die bad? Woo! Kijk hoe mooi is die swimbad. I'll kill it. Okay. Have a balanced conversation. Know what questions to ask. Have you sold? Why interest in the area? I've said it before. Qualify quickly when multiple groups arrive at the same time. Decide when you looked at it. Now, there's a family arriving now, please. This is, you know, when I look at my notes here um, on the speaker side, yeah, I say, Rolo, tell the story like you mustn't be that judgmental when they walk in and you go, uh-uh, she's going to get my attention. Hey, you were the knockoff and the crocs. You can stick to that side. So, please. <laughs> not, it's not the story. Keep it positive about the home and 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 you know set is like a pool party you, you know set the atmosphere it's show business you're busy burlesquing it you want to get to hustle these relationships so that you can know what you need to do with it a contribution principle well i love this I'm on page 40. Ask what information they need. Collect guests' information after you give them something first. You know, those who go, I don't want the information, then sorry for them. Please use your own handwriting. Use it as a conversational tool. I do understand that when there's too many people during a show house, they have to write. The, the, the opportunity you're going to lose out because some people's seven looks like a nine and they fall like a nine and a... And Metlatlonko, can you please try and spell that for me? If they don't write it down, the client, please make sure about the spelling. Ask the question because you could lose out. And remember the story that we've said, get in, get on, get out. Always give them something and leave before they are expected to. Have your neighborhood advice ready. I'm sure, you know, those handouts. We all love a handout. And when people are getting something like a chocolate from you, they uh, argumentatively, there's so many ideas. Then they are more interested in actually maybe becoming a mate of yours and sharing their information with you. Once you contribute to their needs, then ask them to sign your guest book. Because the moment when you can answer as many of their questions and take the object handling out of the way, they're going to then feel that trust that they want to be working only with you.
So, that, ask for business, ask for referrals. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if I have to know statistically, go and look at all the show houses that happened around Hasebius Poor Dam, and let's say I take Rawson, Pam Golding, Keller Williams, Remax, them, all of them that was on show over the weekend, and I put them in one room today and I ask one question. I know you all picked up probably 200 leads for the weekend, just by walk-ins, okay? How many of you got an extra lead by asking for who would you like to or or? It's unbelievable how that conversation keep up showing, keep coming up, that we forget to ask for the referral business. There it says, would you like to buy the house? I have met agents in my life, and this is just for you to do a little order check, that sometimes you don't become a touring agent. You get agents that can tour houses, and the buyers love them, and they ask the questions, and the experience is lovely, and woo, woo, woo. but they don't ask for the closing, and they don't ask for, do you want to buy this house? Always be closing. Now, when I say thank a guest, um, when we say there is try and get your second appointment there. Would you like to view this again? Or can I make an appointment with you on Thursday to show you two other properties because I'm going, this is in my brochure, this one and this one. Okay. That 10 force that we are talking about making notes is not a joke. Now, this is what the agent does. Now, the Sunday they viewed. Then they came second viewing Tuesday, and then they saw on Thursday the other two houses. Then Friday ignores the Eiendoms agent. Agent phones Monday again. Hello, hello, what do you think of your I haven't heard from you again. Yeah, uh, or, uh, we would like to view some more homes. Now the agent doesn't have more homes. And then it goes, okay, well then. <laughs> Luck of my dunk. And that's how we walk away from money in this business. If you keep notes and proper record keeping, be prepared in your script so that you can answer them. I will make it my job as realtor to find your other probable homes that I will share with you, number one. Number two, if, if because your time frame would be 60 days to buy from now, I will be in touch with you. Write down the notes, set the task reminder. You are going to step up and the opportunity of the money is going to happen. Not like you are, but it does happen because we don't keep proper notes. When there's 50 people in your database, it's lovely. When there's 100, I can promise you, you're not going to remember everything. That activity there. When your show house is dead quiet, you know, people sit outside on the stoop, the end of the and they go, waiting for the car to come down the driveway. Keep yourself busy. That is still workable hours. That is billable hours that you are working in your business. Spend it by capturing and catching up. Now, I'm not going to hover too much on the script, but script in knowing what to say during is always, 
And then you're going to say to me, yeah, my, I've got 10 years of experience. I know what to say. Let me tell you how many a times I've walked into conversations and I'm listening to this agent. Yeah, my, I've got 14 years of experience. What, what? But the amount of non-relevant, encompassmentous information that is sharing drives, you know, really? Update your script. Practice it. The amount, because your script is, people are not stupid, they're going to hear, you're busy, wara, wara, wara. You want to control the conversation because you want to hustle it and close it into money. Do you know that that client is going to walk away and go, how stupid is this estate agent that just carries on a wara wara has got no idea what it's talking about. Luck of my dung, can you imagine what that bri, that Friday night sounds like? Dude, I went out with Rolo to go and have a look at a property. Man, does that man talk wara nonsense all the time? Let me tell you, just don't you. Can you see how Rolo's losing leads? I think I've had a fair amount of demonstrations on script practices with you. On page uh, 44 is script on how to greet. Why are you here? When are you moving? What brings you into artists? What are your particular time frame? When do you need to move? Is a swimming pool and a servant's quarter and a third garage important? Do you have to have direct water access, etc.? Everybody would have their own script around their own demographic. Like Noxie would have, does your children go to that school? Do they go to that school? Do you want to be on this side of Zimbali because of easy access to Mshlanga? Or are you happy to be on this side for quick access to the highway? Marnu would have the same story. Do you mind that you need to do an hour coming round the time to bring your kid to the high school, but this is where you will be? Like a dressage person can probably come around in a right in a show jumping arena, but a show jumping person is not going to take a property with a dressage arena because it's two different demographics. Louis Beside and Hope cannot sell a 300 hectare where the guy wants to have arable land and there ain't no water. Argumentatively. <coughs> the scripts are, are really there, pages even forty eight. I think I've repeated it probably a couple of times today. List hard, sell easy. Update your database. Uh, here's my reminder again. Your command, your, your my age, get on with it and let it flow. Put them on the 8 by 8 for the seller or the 8 by 8 for the buyer. The, 20, uh, the tw uh, 12 direct is not negotiable. You got the email, you have the name. Start building that data and collecting those notes because you want to eventually sell the uncle at the same time. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Okay. They on page um, 51, it reminds us about the 8x8 eight eight and the 33 or 36 touches. Okay. Track the number of the people that came through your show houses. Feed back to your seller. You know how many times I've heard this where, and I've told you before, I would walk into an appointment and then the Rawson and Pam Golding brochure would be there. And then I'll say, yeah, so what's the story here? Yeah, but she's had a show house and up this past weekend. It's now Thursday and we still haven't heard from her. 
feedback to your seller is the first thing you do if you can still speak to them that same day on feedback brilliant remember during your mandate appointment you've set a rule with your seller on how we will communicate on whatsapp on phone calls etc i have told you the stories of the wasted cost of the show house happening the sunday the buyer walks in the agent the show house sitter gives the agent sunday night the the papers monday morning the agent what rawson has done the deal look at that slide if you follow up and you stay consistently in contact that buyer buys loyalty and trust with you and will buy from you will refer you that seller is going to list with you you haven't mates waiting to be converted to mates because if you are sticking to the breakfast of champions on the follow-up the 10 fours keeping the notes keep adding the people actively working your database that referral business becomes second nature if you're going to be all of this and set a standard by being on show by servicing all of the leads that are coming through your open houses two weekends on one weekend off remember real estate is retail hours 366 days a year from six to six if the church is open and the pick and pay is open so is your real estate business if you are boarding up your area if you are consistent and regular you will become the number one agent in your area by being consistent capturing and following your leads having that open house we're going to grow your database to 200 there's already then four transactions stuck in your 200 the power of the amount of sold signs with for sale signs in your demographic area will change the perspective people will have when somebody at the bride says lifestyle uh -uh, then people also go but hold on you know there's two sides to a coin you are setting a service delivery standard in your business by keeping to the right activity then you'll do your 36 transactions by just servicing your leads from three hours of lead generation Who wants to talk to me? We've got an aha moment. What is your lead generation action plan? What is your next open house? Who are you going to invite? Page 56. If you actually go and have a little bit of a look in your area and you look at how many houses Pam Golding has had on show, et cetera, et cetera. And you track the visibilities, the X, X. Obviously, you won't know necessarily how many people they've had through. If you track your numbers with your open hours, how many of them you've converted, and you look back at your 411 and your 135, it'll change the number in your bank account. Anybody wants to talk to me? Anybody wants to share an aha? Hello, so yes, I had two properties on show two weeks ago, and I actually sold the one before the show day because I sent it to the potential buyer that was there a week before. And on the Thursday night, after 50 beers, you found the big house of the market. It's mine. I said, if you can get a sign of it, which is for the show day, I can take the house off show, but other than that, I can't. So, he bought the house first, like we were sending up and down, proof of residence, 
And I said to Chris the next day, I said, God, I hope that I remembered he bought the house last night, but the next morning the fikas were here and everything was fine. And I took the house off show and it just shows you that, you know, you can use it, as you say, marketing opportunity where you pressurize the potential by saying, I'm going to put the house on show on Sunday. You've come to look at it. It's going to sell on Sunday. So get your ass into gear and put your offer in. Thank you, Andre, for sharing. Love it, love it, love it, guys. Because what happens is the moment you change it on my age and the systems to on show, you are affecting the algorithms of the system. So this is things that I'm learning. I'm now not becoming smart on this. Don't think I'm a smarty pants on this, please. This is new words I'm learning. That once you change the ad and you put it on show, then it changes the algorithms that feeds to private property, property 24, and all of those. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse. Sorry, to all of those portals, by moving the photos, changing the wording, you will then be the whole time on page one. And you want to be on page one in the newspaper and leverage from the opportunity. By just phoning and sending and leveraging your, your, your current database, there's already, it's calculated. If out of your current database of 200, you're going to already have four transactions. So then to get to 36 is actually so easy by just leveraging what you do have in front of you. From three hours of lead generation to be a millionaire. And that story of Yama Akasi and there isn't so many properties and I have to sell 500 of them, etc. Your database grows. Remember, first has to go wide. And then it's going to go deep. And then it's going to generically start ticking the business. Well done for sharing that, Andre. It's a, it's a thing I hear all the time that the moment a correctly listed property comes on the market and it goes on show. Remember, um, the buyers are also registered on private property and property 24. So the moment you do anything with your listing, they get an email to say, Ashwin has got the whole of Zimbali on show over the weekend, argumentatively. Anybody else that wants to share and talk to me? I think my new drive in, in, in April is going to be um, to get the pivoteers to be more talkative and camera friendly. I'm going to design these backgrounds or things. I'm going to come up with a plan. <laughs> Guys, I really hope that I've brought something to you today that you can understand by just showing up for your stock and servicing your clients. The leads will be there. Focus on the right activities. Stick to. Yes, please, Bia, talk to me. Hi, Rolo. No, it's, it's, it's not anything to do with the training. I'm still learning a lot. But I just want to say more shares on for the training this morning. And it's also Moshe's birthday. So happy birthday, Moshe. Oh, happy birthday, Moshe. And welcome to the family. I know you and Divan started the onboarding process. Um, happy, happy birthday. We really hope it's a big one for you. Welcome to the Keller Williams family. And I know that uh, uh, Bia is going to hold your hand. And together you're going to dominate and build a massive business. Oh, there's your raised hand. Moshe, talk to me. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Lolo. Thanks, everyone. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say, but uh, thanks for welcoming me. Yeah, and it's my birthday today. So uh, thanks for, for, for the uh, uh, birthday wishes. Um, thank you. Awesome. You're most welcome, Moshe. <laughs> we're wishing you a world of success and we're really honored to be in business with you. Can Moshe share, share, share a picture with us? <laughs> Moshe, yeah, please put your camera on so that we can see what you look like. <laughs> or are you dressed already in your party gear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you see because the, the, the captain at the back is bringing some blood, but I, I, I hope you see me. <laughs> now we do. Now we um, do. You still I'll need put... the party at, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'll put the profile pic next time so that everyone can know who I am. <laughs> awesome. Guys, oh, thank you. <laughs> thanks, Moshe. I appreciate your time, and I really hope that I brought that value this morning. Um, yes, have good luck with the lead generation team. Have a brilliant one. I'll see you then Friday with Renee when she does the for sale by owner. Have a super day. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Bye, thank everyone. you. Thank you. Thank you, Rolo. Thank you, Rolo.